are then lining up for the first event this afternoon in this really big meeting for the Classic Hot Rods. We are racing over two heats and the final for the Bill Morris Memorial Trophy. Drivers will compete in graded order, strictly uh, supervised by our afternoon steward, Mr. Paul Gerrard. And then it will be points order for the final. So those positions that they finish in the heats, the top point scorers will be at the front for the big race itself. The Bill Morris Memorial race to be raced over 25 or 30 laps. So on pole position we have 222 Shane Taylor. And alongside him we have 156 from... Uh, from Meath, County Meath in Ireland, we have 156 Jerry Rothwell. Moving on to the yellow grade, and 175 is uh, Andy O'Donnell, again from Southern Ireland, and 31 is Steve Gooding. 100 Kevin Feeney, he lives and works primarily in England, but he's domiciled in Ireland and he therefore makes our trio of Irish visitors. And then we have first entry of the year for 159. So well at the last meeting of Henderson in 2014. Number six is Graham Falker. Graham's had some handling issues with the car, but he's from all the many ways to the beginning of the Back to A1 position. You can hear Paul Gerrard just giving the instructions to the drivers to make sure that they are in position for this first race of the day. Number 72 is Gary Goodswin, alongside him we can see number 22 of Rob Montagna. I think they're just changing places as uh, Paul, Good uh, Paul Gerrard gives them instructions to do so. 247 from Scotland we have Graham McCabe and from Aberystwyth in Wales is number 57 and uh, that's Mike Oliver. 275 is Chris Caton. And moving down towards the back of the field now we have number 20 Dave Fry, the reigning national champion, 333 Lee Wood and 121 Charlie Shembury. If we're on the uh, national uh, statistics then uh, we could almost describe uh, uh, Charlie as the Italian entrant. 445 is Graham Boyd, man who lives in England but of a Scottish heritage. And you can see that from the way that he has both the English and the Scottish flag on the roof of his car. 58 is Steve Lumley, 45 is Craig Boyd. Again, Paul giving them instructions to make sure that they are exactly as they should be on the grid. 198 Andy Stewart and 144 Tim Foxwell. Foxall. And then moving towards the back. From Dunfermline in Scotland, we have number three, Graham Allister. And from the south of England, 721, Steve Kite. Beautiful looking all black machine. Both of those anglers are real credit to the sport and two of the uh, uh, smart looking machines as we move to look forward to the uh, car of the year competition that will be on the Classic Hot Rod Facebook page just after uh, the uh, national championship at Ipswich. Completing the field we have 166 Dave Phillips and uh, 210 that's uh, Huey Weaver a car that has been uh, four years in the making for Hugh to get that car out on track today so a lot of new faces at uh, Hemisphere this afternoon uh, a very packed field and this will make for extremely exciting racing amongst the, uh, the, the hottest stars and the coolest cars which is so the pit gate has now gone together So 
hopefully you will have uh, received confirmation there from the steward of the meeting as to exactly how things are working out. Warm up laps to a clutch start to these heats and it will be a rolling start for the points ascending grand final this afternoon. So the uh, pace car taking them around as they go in single file as they're going to be checking the cars to make sure that the transponders are working and uh, therefore as they go across the line they will electronically signal to the lap scorers in the box. So taking them around nice and easy at the moment just to do this check and also making a very good opportunity to see these cars once again before we go racing. Shane Taylor in the uh, Old English White and uh, Green Machine, the Turquoise Machine of Irishman, 156 Jerry Rothwell. And just bear note that that is the first time in uh, two years that we've had an Anglia 100E racing in classic hot rods. The Mark II of 175 Andy O'Donnell and uh, the Hillman Avenger of 31 Steve Gooding. Mark II Escort is that of 100, the uh, second Irishman in the field today, and that's uh, Kevin Feeney. Mark I Escort is the choice of uh, 159 Mick Rothwell. There's the Anglia 105E of number 6, Graham Fulker. The Vauxhall Chevette of 22, Rob Montagna. Number 72, Gary Goodswin driving a Mark II Escort. There we have the uh, resplendent colours of Scotland's 247 Graham McCabe, the second of the Chevettes this afternoon. And there's uh, the Mark II of 57 Mike Oliver, Mark II of 275 Chris Caton, the HB Viva of national champion 333 Lee Wood. Number 20, Dave Fry, a Mark 1 Escort. 121, Charlie Chabry, Mark 1 Escort. The Austin A40, a 445, Graham Boyd. And the second Austin A40 this afternoon, of 45, Craig Boyd. Really the man in form, having won two finals at the, on the trot in our last two meetings. Points leader by a healthy margin, 198 is Andy Stewart driving the SHP Sonny Howard Motorsports prepared car of the Mark II Escort. The two Escorts of 144 Tim Foxwell and uh, 58 Steve Lumley. And towards the back there we have number 3 Graham Alistair, 721 Steve Kite, 166. Stevens and, uh, and uh, number 210 Huey Weaver. So, again, that's been our full lineup for heat number one for the classics as we now wait for the clearance to get ready for the start of racing. Or alternatively, you can actually watch them for free here on Classic Hot Rod TV. The whole great gaggle of cars that we have here this afternoon of every conceivable type of the classic hot rod genre and everyone looking absolutely first class out there on the grid. Good amount of fans here as well this afternoon as you can see in the, uh, the West Bend Grandstand and over on the far side here to enjoy some of the, uh, the top racing that the uh, world of ovals can offer with these great looking classic hot rods. Great 
grey mouse having a little bit of problems. Hopefully he's going to get going. There he is. So, are we all set now? Okay drivers, you're now ready. Welcome to the Bill Morris Memorial Trophy. Sure is up there looking upon you. Two installation that please, and then return to your grip position. Great good start to the one. So there we are, Paul Gerard reiterating the fact that we're on two laps warming up the tyres. This warms up the tyres before we have the clutch start. And a great view that we have of these cars as they go round, injecting some heat into those tyres and breathing some life into those engines. Busy track. Let's just hope that everybody gets through these, these racing, and particularly in the early laps when it can be a little bit fraught, and everybody can come out the other side in readiness for next Saturday when we will be at Ipswich for the biggest event of the year, the National Championship, where we will be racing for the gold roof. Irishman uh, just getting back into position. And we can hear the dulcet sounds of Whistling Jack Smith as we get ready now for the clutch start for heat number one. Drivers and officials, we appear to be ready. Mike Oliver is tangled with 333 Lee Wood as to how much damage either of those cars have had remains to be seen. But Mike Oliver, he's the one that stopped. When we listen to any adjudication that uh, the steward of the meeting may have about that incident. And as we would expect, very early laps and a lot of cars out there. And sometimes it can be quite a lottery to make sure that everybody gets through. Mike Oliver is out of the car. I'm just looking at uh, any damage that may be on the uh, Origin Brown machine of the Welshman. The uh, tractor coming in to... Uh, Remove that machine. So we'll call a halt to it as we wait for the removal of the 57 machine. 